Tonse Wildkiller here. We are reading chapter 3 of C2 by Lady Pernicious. Uh, if you don't know what ha- ha- I'm not gonna give a recap. If you wanna know what happened in the last chapter or you still remember, go back and watch the other video. I'm not gonna do much voices because right now my voice sounds like shit because my throat is sore. So, let's begin. Kyle's shoulder is really sore. But he ignores it and doesn't say anything. So what's in the first sign of turning into a mutant? Sam asks Dennis. Prone to epileptic seizures. Hate the taste of any food. Short-tempered and random sores. Those are the first symptoms, he tells Sam. Then their eye color changes. In abnormal colors. But the eye color can give us an advantage, Dennis continues. The color of an iris can tell you a different ranking of each mutant. White is easy to kill. White pink, a little bit harder, but still manageable. However, stay away from the dark pink and red colors. Those ones can rip you to shreds. He paused and looks for a bunch of cans. Next is the other physical symptom, the dark veins that pop out of their necks. Those veins are visible because their blood is really rotten and turns to a different color. Black. He picks up the final can and shoves it in Kyle's bag. Don't rely on their eyes, though. It depends on their muscle power when you fight them. Some are really hard to kill, so we just run away. He signals Kyle and Sam to follow him. They walk behind him and and as as he tells them more info about the monsters, about how they have enough strength to rip off your limbs and how fast they can run which is true look how fast that guy bit kyle dennis motioned for kyle to stand beside him do you care about that brother of yours he whispers to kyle kyle looks at him and nods then i suggest you you kill yourself when you succumb to it he whispers as he pokes kyle's collarbone and he gives kyle the gun kyle stands in place shocked how did he know he asked himself, but he was still leaving him alive to take care of his younger brother. That all, that's all that matters, really. He could care less about himself and more for his brother. Dennis lines up the cans and walks up to Kyle. All you have to do is aim and pull the trigger, he tells Kyle. Kyle looks at one of them and aims at it. He lines it up with his eye and pulls the trigger. The sound hurts his ears. To make it worse, he missed. I'll stick with my bat, he tells Dennis, but Dennis shakes his head and gives it back. You want to protect him, right? Take it and aim now. He shoves Kyle backwards and motions his daughter over. She is only 13 and may look frail, but she is capable of anything. He gives her a gun and she pushes Kyle aside. She aims the pistol and points it at the targets in front of her, knocking down five cans and five shots. Sam and Kyle stare in in amazement. She scoffs and hands the gun back to her dad. Thank you, Sarah, her dad says. Take a crack at it. He grabs Kyle and throws him in position. Kyle looks at the targets and breathes in, pointing at one of them. Don't be such a pussy, Sarah mocks. Dennis shushes her. You were just like him the first time. Don't act so high and mighty, princess. He nags her. She rolls her eyes and stands beside Sam. Sam looks at her and steps away from her a bit. Kyle shoots down one bottle. His ears are ringing from the loud noise. Sam winced when the shot fired. Dennis and Sarah look... Dennis and Sarah stood still, not moving an inch. Kyle aims and shoots twice, knocking down one can. Dennis shrugs and said, Well, I guess that's good enough. He walks away with his daughter in the other direction. Kyle turns around and looks towards them. Wait, where are you going? He yells to Dennis. Dennis turns around. Home, you guys go on ahead. He turns around. Oh, wait. The gun needs 9mm rounds. You can find some in the gun shop around the corner, the daughter adds. But what about the mutants? Sam yells. There's not much mutants around these parts. Just stay near us if you want. Dennis tells the two. But aren't we parting ways? Sam asks. I didn't say we were parting ways. I just want to go home. There's a hotel nearby, you guys stay in that, he says his final statement and leaves. 
Sarah follows him behind. Kyle and Sam just shrug and look on the map for the hotel. They follow the markers and look around for anything useful lying around. Some of their stuff is fairly new and barely scratched. Kyle looks at the pistol Dennis gave him. He puts on the safety and shoves it in his pocket. Sam asks if he can hold it, but Kyle refuses and gives him the bloody baseball bat instead. The bloody metal base metal bat instead. I guess I'll teach you tomorrow, okay? Kyle says, smiling. Sam nods his head and sighs. And what did what did he mean by C2? Sam asks Kyle. Well, there was a radiation leak in the underground bases around Canada. It infected the water and animals, killing millions, no, billions of people, he tells Sam. Is that how mom and dad died? Sam asks Kyle. Yes, but we surprisingly didn't. In all honesty, I wish we did die. This life is hell. He pauses and looks around. Where's, where's Maximus? He, he asks Sam. Sam looks around for Maximus and whistles for Maximus. The albino greyhound runs from behind the garbage bin, holding a rat in his mouth, and spits it out in front of Sam's feet. Ew, gross! Sam yells. Maximus barks and wags his tail happily. Maximus, that's really gross, Sam scolds. Maximus whines and pouts, but I guess it was a good effort for our gift, Sam tells Maximus. Maximus barks happily and spins in a circle. Sam sighs and pets Maximus gently. Maximus wags his tail really fast. I love you, Maximus, but sometimes you could be an idiot. Sam said, Maximus whines. Sam, why you gotta be an ass to Maximus? He's just a dog. Let him do what he wants. It's like the end of the world, man. <laughs> yeah, sorry if this reading was just crappy because of my voice. Yeah, um, I know it's been a bit a while, guys. Uh, like, I missed, like, how many upload dates? And that's because, one... The Wi-Fi was shit and I couldn't upload jack shit all. Like, seriously. It would take me, like, like five hours to upload, like, a three-minute video or something. So, yeah. I'll see you guys maybe Monday. Probably. Yeah. Okay. See you guys. Bye.